VS Code's output view is probably not something you need to be checking on a daily basis, but it can be useful for both diagnosing issues and investigating the internal operations of both VS Code itself and any installed extensions. Now, by default, the output view is shown down in the panel. So I'm going to go open the panel with Control J or Command J on Mac here, and then I'm going to switch over to the output section of the panel down here. And you can see now the output view actually consists of a number of different read-only log channels. And currently I'm viewing the uh, channel for Git. So this is the built-in Git extensions output channel. If we go and we click on this little select here, we can actually switch between all the various channels. We have ones like ESLint that are coming from extensions, ones like tasks that are coming from VS Code itself, and then these log files down here that are also generated by the various VS Code processes. So let's look at the Git channel here, for example. And you can see here in the Git channel, the uh, Git extension will actually log all of the Git operations it's performing behind the scenes, which might be interesting to look at. But where this is really useful is that if there is a Git error, a lot more detail about that error would be printed in this channel here. You could either use that to investigate the issue yourself or to share that log with us so that we can go and fix any potential issues over on the VS Code side. Let's go look at a few other channels here. So we have like ESLint. Again, if there's a configuration issue, that would be logged here in the ESLint channel so we can investigate problems better. And then if we go down here, we have all of the log files generated by VS Code. So we have things like the main process um, that is logging information here. Probably not useful on its own, but if there's an issue, you might need to go in and collect this log or investigate things there. And then we have uh, ones like the telemetry channel down here. Now, this specific channel is only in available if you've enabled verbose logging. But what, let, what this channel lets you do is actually see the telemetry that VS Code is uploading. So we use telemetry to fix issues and uh, diagnose bugs and that type of thing. And it's very important to us uh, to be able to understand how VS Code is performing. We try to make it very transparent and discoverable what telemetry is being collected here. And this output channel is one way that we do that. So that's a quick look at VS Code's output view. Again, this is probably not something you want to be looking at on a day-to-day -day basis. Some extensions might use it more heavily, so you might find yourself checking it more often if you're working with a certain extension. But in general, it can be useful for both diagnosing issues and if you're just curious and exploring more of the internal operations of VS Code or one of the extensions.